Guess what? Co-signing is back. Yes, co-signing. In case you don't know what co-signing is, it's when a developer has an app they want to share with beta testers or they want to give an app uh, to somebody. They co-sign it. And what happens is they assign you to a certificate and then Apple allows you to install this app even though it's not from the app store. It's from a website and it allows you to download it and put it on your iOS device. So some brilliant people came up with co-signing for putting cracked apps onto your iOS device, your Apple TV, uh, iPad, or whatever. Now, this works with iOS 8 through 10. Uh, so any version, including the latest version. Matter of fact, I have the beta version uh, that most people don't have. So it's the very latest. Now, this person here, uh, you may have heard of him. He's uh, Dita Tamemes, whatever his name is. He was a developer uh, that co-owned iPawn Store, and that I made a video about in the past. And you know, it was cumbersome a little bit. You have to, you know, remember what certificate you were on and the whole rigmarole just to get it working on your phone. But uh, this person here, D. Mateus, or let me see if I say it right, Thadimius, Thamius, whatever, uh, made Signulus. Now, Signulus is a new, brand new service for co-signing by that guy and you go to the website signulist.com and you scroll down and you get you know dashboard co-signing you don't have to wait a long time for the email it happens instantly uh, so you have a nice library of stuff now see here I have the app open on my iPhone and you got tons and tons of apps music video and all you know completely plus plus and what I mean by that is um, it's the cracked version the full version without you even having to sign in of all the features of every single one of these apps uh, there's screen recorders there's game emulators music apps popular ones Kodi uh, you have um, tons of stuff movie box movie HD Napster and these are all fully loaded uh, you even have emulators and you have uh, NFL Game Pass, full version, every game, a Popcorn Time, just tons and tons of stuff for iOS here. Uh, the Apple TV version has the Kodi and the browser and all the usual stuff you have. Now, I'm going to break up this video. Look, UFC, full UFC pay-per-view, every single event. Um, keep going through, and you have tons of music apps too, uh, like Spotify, fully loaded. Uh, download songs for offline use everything is there pandora uh, nfl game pass it's just crazy amount of stuff and i tested them out they work i've been using them for the last couple of days i actually broke them down into folders um so we have you know video apps we have sports uh nba all the games even the coaches videos so you can like watch uh you know the coaches view of the game um we have all these music apps. I didn't download Pandora because I don't use Pandora. But uh, game emulators, I have an NES. I even have a Smash Brothers game. Just tons of stuff. And it's very simple to use. Now, like I said, I'm going to break down this video into different parts. So I'm going to pretty much I showed you how this app looks, uh, what apps are involved in there. Um, you don't ha even have to sign into these apps. You install them on your device, and they're fully loaded already good you can even sign in and get your personal playlist and things like that but a lot of the apps you don't really have to sign in so you go down here and you see that there's a, a lot of flavors that you can uh, buy now these prices are per year so as long as you paid you have the whole year of service now from time to time apple uh, revokes certificates to developers like this person here and what he guarantees is that if you buy the full revoke warranty, that means you have one time in a whole year that you can, you know, just get in touch with this person uh, through the web portal. Uh, there's a web portal help desk and, you know, show them proof that you paid, you know, maybe your PayPal receipt or your credit card receipt or an email uh, like the ones that I have here that confirm that I have an account. 
and send it off and they'll revoke, you know, they'll let you, uh, they'll put you on a new certificate and then you're good. Now there's the lesser version here, which is only, uh, you know, two bucks less. And, and it only allows you to have 30 days. If the Apple revokes it on 31 days, uh, you're out of luck. So your best bet is to buy the full uh, revoke warranty for the whole uh, year. And it, as long as you pay the $15.99 a year, whether it's iOS or tvOS, you get the revoke. Uh, you know, just give him your info and he'll put you back on a different certificate. So let me now go to the part where I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. So when you get onto this site and you buy, uh, you know, you check out, you put your PayPal in or your credit card, or whatever, and you send it off. You can even use a prepaid, uh, like gift card, you know, like a visa gift card you get at CVS for 20 bucks. You just pay that 1599 using that card. So nobody gets your credit card information or anything like that. If you're scared of that stuff, but PayPal pretty works pretty good. So you now you send that info in and you get an email like this. Now I have two separate accounts. I have one for my Apple TV and one for my iOS, one of my iOS devices. You have to pay per iOS device. So if you have an iPad and an iPhone, you have to pay twice. You know what I mean? If you have a TV, uh, Apple TV, and you have, say you have two Apple TVs, you have to pay for each Apple TV. It's one um, device at a time, okay? But you can have a bunch of devices throughout your home. As long as you pay the yearly uh, $15.99 or whatever it was, you'll be set. So after you purchase it, you get an email like this. Uh, this is for iOS. This is for the Apple TV. They look exactly the same. So I'm just going to show you on iOS uh, how it works. So with iOS, uh, once you get this email, you click this here and you get onto this page here that I'm showing you. Now on this page, let me just open up Signulus so you can see it for yourself. So on this page, you put in a username that you want, anything you want, just choose it. And then you put a password, whatever you think you want. Now you got to remember this username and password because in the app that you're going to download, the Signulus app, it doesn't remember your password. So make it easy. Don't go crazy putting some crazy hexadecimal, whatever, just basic password so you can get it. So you hit register and then you register. And what happens is, uh, well, I'll just click here and hit register. Let me see what, I, oh yeah. So what happens here, it asks you for a username. So you do it again, use the same one as your sign or a different one, whatever you want. But to make it easy, use username, password, confirm the password same as the previous screen and put an email in there then you hit register and then you'll get a second email here's the second email and it says just click here to confirm your account so that it knows that it's you you click that and then you get into the sign in so you hit here and you log in so now you can hit the login button so we hit the login button and it was that simple there's no certificates like with iPawn Store. There was no nonsense. It's just simple and easy. Now you have this page here. You go on your iOS device and you pretty much sign into what's called dashboard uh, dot .com. So that's what you're going to do. But here I'm just going to click here and I'm going to hit um, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go home. Let me see if there's a sign in. So, all right. So we'll go, the, go to that email. I have that email here. And I think this is the one for my iOS device. Uh, but I'll click here. And it brings me to the dashboard. Okay. So it's already been activated. Fine. Yeah, we know. Uh, we did that on the PC. So I go to my account and I hit login. So the web Safari website remembers your login, but the app, once you install it, does not. So always remember that. So here we have install Signulus. You see, it's right here. Install Signulus. It's also here. You don't want to do it from your Mac because you want to install it on your device. So you have to use your device on the same web page to install. So you click install and what will happen? Uh, you'll see it and you hit install. 
there's another pop-up that pops up, install. So now I have it here. And then you, of course, have to sign in because you won't be signed in at first. You remember that username and password you put in. And then you have your dashboard. Here's your dashboard. We're on the dashboard. Uh, you can change device so that you can manage other devices. Say you wanted to manage your Apple TV. Um, you can manage it from the Safari in your iOS. But you hit uh, change device or you have your device in here. Now, there's going to be one more part that I can't show you because I already signed up for it. It's going to ask you for when you sign up originally, when you pay your your um, $15.99, I forgot to tell you this, you have to have your UDID number. Now, I'll tell you what a UDID is, and I'll show it to you in the app itself. So there's an app that this creator made. It's called UDID, and you pretty much install it from uh, the legit app store. And it's a way to be able to give your UD, your unique uh, identification number, for each device. That's how uh, Signulus keeps track of what devices go with what certificates. They use a UDID, a unique identifier. So we're going to tap to begin. And what's going to happen is it's going to uh, ask me to install a certificate. This is a legit app store. They wouldn't do this if it wasn't safe. You hit install. And what will happen, it'll come back with another page. I don't want to do it because you'll see my UDID. And it, and it will let you be able to copy it or email it to somebody. I hit copy. I email it to my computer where I'm setting up the billing. And I throw the UDID number in there from my iPhone. Then I hit send. And then they send you that first email. And from there, you know what we did. We did all the sign in and, and set up. So now we have it on our device. So um, here is the app itself. So you click apps. And when you click apps, oh, let me just get to it. You get all of the apps. Let me just go back to here. So you get all the apps that you can install. You're signed in. It knows who you are. It has gives you permission. So say I wanted to install this NBA app. I just click the NBA app sign app boom done it's that easy you just wait be patient it's being co-signed it's giving permission for the app to be installed from the internet down into your phone there it is signing successful you hit install app a pop-up pops up install you go to your home page and you see it loading on boom it's on the device so i already have it loaded here the nba app and i open it up and just like that, it works like magic. It's already signed in. It's already cracked, they call it. And if I go to more here and I see here, it says sign in. Welcome, sign in. I'm already signed in. It thinks I'm already signed in, but it also doesn't think I'm signed in. But it's that simple. So now if we wanted to find a game, today is the uh, the 20th. And at 7 o'clock tonight, it's, it's, it's going to tell me that I can watch. All right? It says purchased. You see that red thing there? It says purchased. That means it thinks that I already have all the credentials to watch that game. And then once I have that, and there's no games going on right now, but if there was, I'd be able to click it. I can see the coach's view. The um, You know, I can see the Hawks side. You know, like they put the camera on the Hawks, or I can go to the Hornets, and they can pinpoint it right there. You can watch all of these games tonight. Uh, March 20th, 2017. Look at all these games that are going on tonight. I could watch it. If I wanted to go to UFC, because that's, you know, awesome. UFC is pay-per-view, and these fights run 40, 50 bucks sometimes, you know? And to have this, I can watch these three. Uh, one's going on at 10 p.m. tonight, uh, or I'm sorry, April 8th, it's going on. Right now, they, they don't have the, but you can watch past events. Uh, if you just click, boom, past events, it'll load. And start playing. It's not, you're not going to hear the audio because I'm I'm uh, air playing this or I'm connected with the wire filming the screen, so I'm not going to get into that. So um, Game Pass, same thing. You know, you got the games. It doesn't think that you're signed in. Um, I can go to settings here, and it says my account, and it says sign in or register. But it thinks I'm already signed in by the way it looks with the games. So. 
uh, you know, football season is over right now, but when it happens, uh, you know, you have it. And as long as you pay the yearly uh, fee, you can continue using Signulus, no problem. Uh, what else do we got? We got, uh, you know, music apps. These are full, fully loaded, fully, uh, you know, signed in. You can sign in with your sign in on top of the sign in that's in and get your playlists and all of your saved, your favorites and all like that. And it will still give you the premium account. I think you guys got the idea. This is movies. I have Cody here. Look, Cody is fully loaded. I'm going to sign in as a master user and fully load it. I use Fusion, um, and that's from tvaddons.ag, and I have these all pre-installed. I play it, run it. It remembers it. iOS doesn't kick it out and say you can't use this. It's You, you have permission to use these apps because it was co-signed by this developer here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I probably will do separate videos for each of these apps, show you how to configure Kodi and you know all that other stuff. Just tell me in the description, I mean in the comments, whether you like you know this video and what you would want me to make the next video about, you know, in regards to Sinulus. So all the links will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching this. Check them out sign up like i said prepaid gift card whatever you want boom you got the service for a whole year you got all these great apps let me run through the apps just real quick while we say goodbye uh, so you can see for yourself all the great apps that it has so let me scroll now and you can see for yourself I have many other videos. You know, you might want to hit that like button right now. I really appreciate you if you do. All these apps, I tested most of them, and they install no problem. Everything's cool. Emulators, screen recorders, games that have been discontinued by Apple, perhaps. And Cody's, all different kinds. Live TV. You have streaming TV. Music. Beautiful. Pandora, there, YouTube, ProTube, okay, uh, tons of stuff, tons of stuff, I'm just going to scroll through, because people had questions on Twitter, what apps were involved, and there you have it, so I hope you enjoyed this video, the TVOS, same thing, it's got a lot of great apps, if you want me to make a video about that, just, uh, you know, hit it in the description, now, to get your UDID, you use that app, and to get your UDID, you can use Apple's software the called the Apple Configure 2. And you can download that from the Mac App Store and uh, install it. Uh, if you have your Apple TV hooked up with the USB to USB-C, uh, you can get the UDID off that device. And then send it when you make your payment to Sinulus. Okay? I hope you enjoyed it. I'm talking too much. This video is taking way too long. I'll talk to you the next time. Thank you.